Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate. Good morning, I'm Victoria Carmen with your Fox Carolina News Flash Briefing, and we start with breaking news this morning. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation says they found the remains believed to be of missing 15-month-old Evelyn Boswell. TBI did not say where her remains were found. Boswell was last seen in December, but was reported missing in February. Her mother was recently arrested per for providing false information. We'll continue to follow this developing story for you. You can stay up to date at foxcarolina.com. New information, DHEC says it's investigating two possible coronavirus cases in South Carolina, one being an elderly woman in Kershaw County, the other case, an adult woman in Charleston County who recently traveled to France and Italy, and she's an employee at the Medical University of South Carolina. MUSC says the woman will be self-quarantined for 14 days as recommended by the CDC. And earlier this afternoon, we learned the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas was canceled. That was on Friday. There was also a new case of coronavirus in Georgia and a cruise ship off the coast of California reported 21 cases of the virus. And the number one South Carolina Gamecocks took down Georgia Friday afternoon in the quarterfinals of the women's SEC basketball tournament in Greenville. The Gamecocks beat the Bulldogs 89-56. USC will face Arkansas in the semifinals tonight at 5. And if they win, they'll play in the championship Sunday at 2. Let's get a check at weekend forecast with meteorologist Ben Dornbach. Beautiful Saturday ahead, just a little cold in the morning, maybe a lingering snowflake or two in the mountains. Otherwise, lots of sunshine, 59 and 49 your afternoon high temperatures in the upstate mountains, respectively. A touch on the breezy side in the mountains, but overall a beautiful Saturday. It'd be even better Sunday as temperatures warm up. Of course, we'll have continuing coverage throughout the day, as well as on our social media sites, YouTube page, and of course, our Fox Carolina News app. Have a good one.